There's uh, something called a life stitch. Uh, a lot of people go, why do you hand sew a lot of the things that you make? Some of it is because of the uh, fine detail and around all the buckles and the, and the keepers. Others are because no machine can throw a stitch as tight and as well as a good pair of hands. And uh, the best two examples of where that is the truest is around the buckle of a girth and also at, on your stirrup leathers. Uh, this is so uh, literally life is hanging off of both of these items. Uh, in time the leather will stretch and yes the the, uh, the stitching will fatigue or burn away and, and at that time those uh, pieces need to be uh, repaired or replaced but uh, for the strength the durability and for the integrity of the of the piece of equipment ha hand stitched buckles for both your stirrup leathers and your and the buckles on your girths are essential the one thing you can check as time goes on and as you're using your equipment and playing and all of that is uh, again checking the billets seeing how the uh, how the uh, stitching is wearing uh, as far as the, where the stitches are and the overall integrity of your webbing. Uh, two is again checking out the buckles are, uh, on your girth and around your stirrup leathers which sometimes they look fine here but it's it's in the back that they're starting to disappear or wear off and that's just from the fatigue or the friction of the leathers going back and forth but the best time to probably uh, check out your equipment is at the end of the season or at the beginning of the season when you should actually what they call strip the equipment down in other words take it apart take all the buckles away from the straps and all that and clean all of that out and and that's when you find out where the sweat and everything gets built up behind the buckles behind the keepers things of that sort and sometimes you don't realize how fatigued or how worn out a piece is I'm a big believer in, in just keeping it simple with leather. Leather is a skin. Uh, warm water and saddle soap is, is the easiest. Oiling done sparingly, a little goes a long way. Um, if you're going to oil after you clean, best to just put a nice skim coat on the back or the raw side of the, of the uh, strap. Uh, it'll, uh, it, takes very little for it to penetrate that way it will penetrate through the finished side but since there's all of that address you know the dye and all of that from the factory is already on there it takes a lot more oil to penetrate through over the course of time oil will actually clog the pores of the leather causing the, the leather to crack or acid crack and actually start to eat away at the stitching and um, so over the course of time if you if you use at least let's say the end of the season once you finish playing taking your equipment taking it apart making sure that everything is uh, uh, or what the status is on everything that's when you really start to find out where you need to repair or replace the the piece of equipment and again i use always like that the, the, at the most 60 percent of the replacement value of a piece